Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 17.4.1 once again. Now, for those of you that may not know, Apple did something a bit strange. They've released iOS 17.4.1 on March 21st. A few days later, they've revised this version. They released another version of iOS 17.4.1. However, they did not make the new revision available over the air for iPhone or iPad users. So on March 21st, Apple released iOS 17.4.1 with the bill number 21E236. This one right here was released on March 21st for everyone over the air for iPhone in iPad users. Now, a few days later, as I mentioned, Apple released a revised version, a re-release of iOS 17.4.1, but the build number is different, 21E237. So 37 is the new one, 36 is the original release. Now, why would Apple release two different versions of iOS? And if we go into Apple's website, right there it is, on March 27th, we get right there a build number, the latest one that ends on 37, but you can only download the new revised version of iOS 17.4.1 through Apple's website. Now, I've been using the revised version of iOS 17.4.1 over the past couple of days, and I wanted to share some details with you guys as into what I've noticed has been improved with the revised of iOS 17.4.1. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is unlocking my iPhone. I've noticed with iOS 17.4 and 17.4.1, the original release that ends on 3.6, released on March 21st, I was having issues unlocking my iPhone with Face ID. There was sort of a stutter, and I was going to talk about this after a week or so, but Apple revised iOS 17.4.1 and quickly addressed this. So when I unlock my iPhone with the revision of 17.4.1, things are pretty smooth when I go to unlock my iPhone. As you can see right there, just quickly unlock just like so. Now, the second thing I've noticed that is new or improved with this revision that you can only install manually, by the way, is the fact that widgets on the home screen no longer disappear. I was having an issue with iOS 17.4 and 17.4.1, the original release on March 21st, where some of my widgets would disappear from the home screen. However, with this revision, I haven't encountered the widgets disappearing from the home screen, not once. So it looks like bugs and improvements have been addressed with this bill number. I'm not sure why Apple hasn't provided an over-the-air revision update for 17.4.1 if this software is to improve some of these bugs. So if you try to update your iPhone right now to iOS 17.4.1, I've tried updating iPhone 14 Pro Max, 11 Pro Max, iPhone 13 Pro Max. They all get the old bill number that ends on 3.6, but on Apple's website, we have the revision that ends on 3.7. Now, the other thing that's different is the release notes. So right here, we get this update provides important bug fixes and security updates, and it is recommended for all users. This is for the original release. Now, with Apple's revision, you see that this one says this update includes improvements and bug fixes for your iPhone. So it is different in some way other than just the build number. And I've noticed that some of these bugs have been addressed with the revision of iOS 17.4.1, which is kind of strange. Hopefully we'll see an over-the-air update be provided here for iPhone users or perhaps 17.4.2 in the near future to perhaps make everything sort of uh, come together, right, unified so iPhone users can get those improvements and bug fixes with the revision. So if you update it to iOS 17.4.1, let me know in those comments down below, how's the battery, how's the performance, have you encountered any bugs, and let me know which version are you using. Are you using the original that ends on 3.6, or are you using the revised ending on 3.7, as I mentioned? So let me know in those comments down below. I just wanted to share this quick update. Apple is doing things a little bit different. I'm not sure why they're keeping this software update as an IPSW only to install manually, but there you guys have it just a quick update i'll follow up on this if any update is provided over the air thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace